Hello everyone, this is ASMR Studio. Welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial. Today I'll show you how to edit a portrait. Uh, actually, uh, this type of portrait, a uh, well paint effect, or you can tell like that. Okay, uh, the cartoon effect, or just uh, well paint. Actually, I can tell it. Okay, let's start the tutorial. Uh, before start my tutorial, I want to say one thing. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. And I have another Bangla channel. Uh, those who are interested uh, to learn the design in, or Bengali, uh, whatever you can tell, uh, they can do subscribe the another channel that is the AD Academy. Okay, that's fine. Let's start. I'm opening up a photo which is this photo, the stock image, and the background is solid color. That's why uh, I can cut it or separate it from the background easily. That's why I'm using the quick selection tool and just select over there. Uh, but be careful when you are selecting the subject and okay okay drag it it will just give you the output or the select the areas which one you want to select okay select it and this portion I'll select the here portion okay let's get and this portion other portions okay that's good okay after that I'll go to the select and mask options and those who are using the creative cloud 2017 and 18 they will get these options uh, by default otherwise we have to just go to the select and select and mask and press the shift button and they'll get the older window of the the refine age or the if any is selection okay after that I'll just make it like that smart need reducing and a seven pixel that's good and make it smooth and feather a little bit and contrast a little bit after that brush those area which one you want to delete actually okay or the edges if you want to refine those edges just drag over there and it will just on and okay be careful when you are just uh, not dragging or brushing over there otherwise uh, the selected area could be deselect or just refined okay after that this portion okay that's good it will take time uh, my PC uh, taking time to load this one uh, the best way to use the high configuration PC to do this just uh, edit otherwise it could be hang or the, the slow it can, could be the lack of your PC and other things okay I'm just making it refine the edges okay that's good and already it's done okay after that go to the downside of the window and new layer with the layer mask and hit the ok button you'll get a smooth or the just transparent background and I'm selecting this background and taking a new blank layer and just getting this color like the ash color actually I'm picking up this color and hit the ok button and press the ctrl and delete you'll get the ash color background of this image and after that go to that layer mask not in an image in a layer mask and press the apply ma layer mask okay after that make another copy of this layer and then go to the filter and the filter gallery press ctrl just zero for the fit fit to the skin and here is uh, cut out cut out option and here is the paint options at first uh, paint dubs I will apply and give the size uh, around 14 or 15 that's good and sharpness you can give or you can increase the sharpness and okay and hit the ok button after that uh, before that one thing I can do I can crop this image by the ratio 16 is to 9 and here is the ratio you can give this ratio 
and you can crop it and hit the ok button press ctrl o and it will fit ok after that this one is my the applied uh, effect and i'll reduce the opacity a little bit and the area will be visible or you can mask it and give go to the brush option and just you can mask this portion okay let's get and the least portion you can do that okay after that select these two things and just make just this this layer and make a copy by pressing ctrl j and take it in a front that means these options and i'm making the background from the dark gray it will help you how to just recognize okay this one is my the upper layer and again i will go to the filter and the filter gallery and i'll apply another the cutout options and hit the ok button after that just reduce the opacity a little bit we'll get a shape which is like that uh, the cartoon shape shape actually okay multiply you can make it multiply or you can reduce the opacity like that okay that's good okay select three things make it group make it merge after merge this one uh, go to the just before that go to the just copy of this layer and then filter and the styles and the well paint i'll give you another video tutorial link about the well paint installation or uh, how to install uh, the well paint uh, uh, plugins and you can just download or you can install your in your pc the well paint options easily okay you can just give the angles and you can increase the lines or decrease the lines okay i'll increase the line a little bit okay that's good okay and you can make it okay you can make it like that that's good and the clearance okay you can make it okay that's good okay if you want to make it more prominent than the previous uh, you should select these two layers make it group and make it march after that go to the filter and camera filter from the camera filter i'll adjust the lights or other things and sharpness i'll reduce the exposure a little bit add some contrast and de highlighted the photo add some shadow a whiteness i'll increase and blacks give some clarity and the saturation and variance i'll control that and go to the camera calibration and you can adjust the color like that go to the hsl option reduce the orange increase the orange luminance saturation and red increase the red luminance and the red hue you can make it like that okay could be more amazing and the sharpness i'll add some sharpness and add the luminance of noise reducer and go to the basic color correction i'll can make it the warm or cool i'll make it a little bit warm plus one and hit the ok button after that uh, you can go to the another filter which is the google nick collection and the color effects pro from the color effects pro you can apply the other filters and yes it's loading and i'm using the cross processing here is the cross processing and here is the other methods you can apply one of them okay yes that's good and hit the ok button yeah our image is ready if you want to make your photo to the um, just will paint and you can make it easily in a photoshop okay let's see what was the previous one this one was over the stock image and now after applying the all the things you can make your photo in a cartoon mode or in a, a well paint mode or other things actually this one is a digital painting 
So thank you so much. Thanks for watching my video tutorial. If you have any kind of question or query, please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel and share with your friend. Till the next video, I am ASMN signing out and bye bye.